So girls, welcome to your room, your little slice of heaven, your dormitory, whatever you want to call it. This is where you're going to be staying while on camp. Now of course, like I mentioned before, this is a no social media zone, so we have confiscated all your electronic belongings. However, because I'm entrusting you with one of the best rooms at the campsite, you do have access to live TV. You're telling me I'm stuck in this room? with Sloppy Joe, Poindexter, and no access to social media? What am I going to do? Wait, am I Sloppy Joe or Poindexter because I'm offended either way? If you have to ask that question, it's pretty obvious which one you are. Wow, okay, so that's how it's gonna be. But yeah, she's right, Mrs. Caesar. Anyway, this is so unfair. Like, I need my social interaction. I need to know what people are doing on Instagram and Facebook. Like, please, give me access. Girls, girls, we're all friends here. This is camp. We're meant to be making lasting relationships. Having some time away from your social media may do you some good. Oh, dog, this is going to be a nightmare. I can already see it. I'm not going to be able to survive, okay? I'm warning everyone now. It's going to be a disaster. I'm going to go pick out my bed. I thought this was going to be a cool camp. You know, like you see on those teen drama movies. This sucks. You know I'm usually on your side, Mrs. Caesar, but yeah, this, uh, this isn't it, Chief. This is not it. Girls, just give it a try, all right? We're gonna do lots of fun outdoor activities. It's going to be great. It's going to be so fun. Uh, guys, I'm going to say it. Camping sucks, big stinky butthole. Oh, I don't know, it's not that bad. We could be camping outside and that'd be disgusting. Um, you're a bee. You literally live outside like 90% of your life. Yeah, well, I've got a custom to indoor living, so. Oh my dog, so you're the reason the planet's dying. Lazy bees, I knew it. Whoa, 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 don't blame it on me. Maybe if you didn't pollute so much, our earth would be suffocating. Ladies, I came here to camp not to discuss economic problems. What is this? <laughs> Are you jealous because we're smarter than you, Ruby? You got a D on basic spelling. I'm not even going to answer your question. The grades speak for themselves. Guys, guys, there's no need to get catty, okay? We've been stuck inside camping for a little while. I'm sure we're all going a bit stir crazy, but come on, we're all friends here. I'm literally a cat. It's it's all I do. We all know cats think they're better than everyone, which is actually a fact, but you know. Yeah, but dogs are man's best friend. That's why I get more dates than you. <laughs> yeah, with the grease balls that go to our school. Ew. Hello, girls. Speaking of grease balls. Um, excuse me, Ruby. What was that? Is that some attitude I detect in your voice? No, Mrs. Caesar. So what can we do for you? Well, it looks like we're going to be having another night in as the weather outside isn't the best at the moment. A bit too hot. We're worried about students getting sunburnt. So we're just doing our rounds to see if the students are all well behaved. I believe in this room we currently have Ruby, Kathleen, Tony and Olivia. Where is Olivia, girls? I don't know, miss. Maybe she's in, like, the bathroom or something. I don't keep tabs on every single person. Okay, but we do need to keep track of everyone, so I'm just asking you to please stay in your room till further notice. And it's a bit disgusting in here, girls. Not very ladylike of you. I mean, look at this place. You've got bottles all over, food and whatnot. Just clean it up, all right? Um, excuse me, miss, but don't you think that it's a bit judgmental to call us unladylike? Like, what even is ladylike in nowadays terms? We're all individuals. Yo, Mrs. Caesar, she's got you there, no lie. Girls, listen, I'm not here to have an argument with you about this kind of stuff. I'm here to check on attendance and we need to find Olivia. I can't have her running off and just disappearing off campus. It looks bad on my report. 
Oh no, miss, that's the most worrying thing ever. How will I survive if my teacher gets a bad mark against her name? It's not like you do that to me every PE class because I can't run. Ruby, don't start with me, all right? You've talked back to me too much this trip. I'm going to move you into a different room if this keeps going on. Now, if anyone sees Olivia, let me know and clean up this room. <sighs> Look, Miss, we're sorry. We're just really fed up of being cooped up in this room. It's kind of like we're going stir crazy. I mean, I understand we're all teenagers and literally all we do is look at phones and talk. But it is nice sometimes just to leave the room. So can we please just go down the hallway and talk to some of our friends? Yeah, don't get me wrong, Mrs. Caesar. I love my girls, but it would be nice to speak to somebody new. Ugh, girls, we have things planned for tomorrow. You'll have lots of social interaction. It's just for today because it's too hot outside. Now, if you excuse me, I have other rooms to check on. Ugh, why did my parents sign that permission slip? I thought camping was going to be a fun little getaway, but no, it's just... It's just schoolwork in a different place. True. And at least at home you can kind of procrastinate now and again. You can't do that here. They're always watching. Hey, by the way guys, where is Olivia? I haven't seen her like all day. Oh my god, she didn't tell you? She like totally snuck out to see this guy who's like three years older than her. He's not even in high school anymore. I can't remember what his name was though. I think it's like, uh, Oliver? Yeah, I think it's Oliver, or maybe Ollie. I don't know. It starts with an O, that's for sure. So they're Olivia and Ollie? <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. They have, like, matching names. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my dog. Olivia, is that you? You are such a little rebel. Mrs. Caesar is looking everywhere for you. I know. I saw her patrolling outside. Super creepy. But do you think the coast is clear for me to sneak in? I brought some friends with me. Oh my dog, yes please. We need social interaction. I've been living in this blanket for three days. I'm starting to smell. Ew. Hey, don't judge me, okay? Sometimes I just fall into a cocoon-like state and I just hibernate for a while. It's completely normal. Yeah, okay, sure. Anyway, yeah, Olivia, you can sneak in. Coast is clear, she just left. Ah, sweet. I bought my boyfriend, Ollie, and his friend, so we're just gonna sneak through the window. If you hear Mrs. Caesar coming, yell. She'd probably skin us all if she found out I was bringing guys from the outside in. True. So, who's going to watch the door? Shotgun, not me. Yeah, shotgun, not me either. Like, totally, I can't do it. My anxiety will literally give me a panic attack. Wait, you don't have anxiety? Shut up. Oh, well, I guess I'll go do it then, guys. Don't, don't worry about me. I'll just, uh, just, uh, huh. I feel like you may not be telling the truth, but who am I to uh, question your mental state? So, I'm just gonna go, yeah. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. You're the best. I love you. She's so great. Yeah, totally. Thanks, Kathleen. So easy to manipulate her. <laughs> True. So, Olivia, hurry up and get your butt in here. Oh my dog, I can only climb so fast. You realize I am literally walking on a stove here. Do you want me to burn my tail? I mean, it would be kind of entertaining to watch. Uh, okay. Wow, this place is freaking messy. What have you been doing in here? Eating, sleeping, watching teen dramas on TV, and contemplating my existence in every waking minute. I mean, I've just been complaining about camp. I don't know what she's on. Are you judging me again? I, I'm not even going to answer that. So, w where's these guys, Olivia? Oh, you guys are not ready. They're like so hot. <laughs> hey, Ollie, you can come in now. And bring Harry too. I'm sure he'll like one of my friends. Probably the one that doesn't smell. I'm feeling really attacked right now, you guys. Can we please go back to bullying Kathleen because she's so much smaller and easier to target than me? Um, what the tail? You guys were literally complimenting me two seconds ago. What did I do? Ugh, nothing, Kathleen. You're too nice. I just don't want to get bullied anymore because of my stench. Then go take a shower. We literally have them upstairs. Nothing's stopping you. Yeah, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Can you two stop squabbling? You're going to embarrass me. Just play it cool, okay? Ugh. 
Yo, what's up? The name's Ollie. Kind of like the skateboard move. Uh, is that something to be proud of? I don't know. Okay. We heard there were some pretty rad girls here, so we thought we'd stop by. Yeah, we're like totally rad. The coolest people you'll find at camp. Says the pet wearing nothing but a towel strapped to her body. Interesting. You don't know my struggle. I can't function without social media. The isolation's driving me crazy. Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you, Ollie. I'm Ruby, the cute one. <coughs> Self-nominated. <laughs> this is Tony, the mentally unstable one. And over there is Kathleen. She's like kind of cool, but really nerdy. So she hangs around us sometimes. I'm relentlessly bullied by my peers, but for some reason I keep coming back to them. It's kind of like a sick cycle. Yeah, but that's because we all know you're the smartest and you're the only one who's going to graduate and get into a really good university, so it makes us feel a little bit better to tease you sometimes. You know we really love you. Just don't remember I said that. Ever. Ah, uh, that's kind of sweet in a messed up way. Also, I haven't seen Mrs. Caesar at all. Can I come down now? Yeah, 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 come down. Sweet. So, Ollie, tell us about yourself. You said your name's like the skateboard trick, and that's all we know. Well, I actually work in construction. I lay bricks for houses, and, you know, when you do a job like that, you're pretty muscular. Yeah, Ollie's 25 and so mature. I feel like I really bagged a good one here, guys. 25? Oh my dog, you're such a rebel. If Mrs. Caesar catches you, we're all dead. Ugh. Um... Hey guys, c can I come in yet? Oh, yeah, come in. Guys, this is Harry, Ollie's best friend. Uh, yeah, hi guys, my name's Harry and- Oh, bro, what are you doing? You're going to mess up my hair. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Like I was saying though, my name's Harry, nice to meet you. He's clumsy, my weak heart. I'm gonna fall in love with him, I just know it. Oh dog, we don't need a campsite crush. Get a hold of yourself, girl. But he's so adorable. Uh, so, anyway, what have you guys been doing? I was telling Harry and Ollie how cool you guys are. So, uh, yeah, yeah, anything fun? <laughs> now would be the time to tell them and impress them. Oh, well, I've been reading the encyclopedia recently. I'm up to the Bermuda Triangle and why so many airplanes go missing in there. It's quite an interesting read. Nerd! I've been trying to dress myself up, even though we're confined to our little camping room because the weather's crappy. I mean, I think I look pretty cute. For the last two hours, I've tried to get Cheeto dust out of my belly button. Remind me again why I'm friends with such a chaotic, wide spectrum of people. Because we're super amazing? And super smart. And I can fit three jelly beans into each of my ears before they start falling out. It's pretty impressive when you actually see it happen. Wow. Not being able to access social media really is making me crazy. Yo, babe, I don't want to be mean here, but your friends are kind of whack. We're not whack, we're totally cool. The only problem is you've been hanging around Olivia, and she's like super popular and likable, so it makes us look a bit weird. We're totally normal. Yeah, okay, sure. Olivia, can we get out of here? I don't want to stay around. It kind of smells. That, that's me. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> I should really take this thing off. Yeah, it's kind of chaotic in here. I, I'm gonna go, guys. If Mrs. Caesar asks where I am, just, you know, don't worry. We'll think of something. But can you at least leave Harry here? He looks so adorable. Wait, really? You want me to hang around? Yeah, only if you want to, though. We're not gonna force you. Uh, that, that might actually be pretty cool. I'm kind of third wheeling these two at the moment, so yeah, I'll hang out with you guys. Oh my dog, cute! Yeah, I can't take much more of this. I'm out of here. Teenage girls are way too much to handle. Yeah, sorry guys, he's just used to being with someone more mature. We're totally mature, what the tail? Yeah, I think she means boring. <laughs> Yeah, I do calculus for fun, and I'm more interesting than her sometimes. Yo, Kathleen, that was the most savage thing I've ever heard you say in your entire life. You've definitely been hanging around us too long, haven't you? Yeah, you guys are kind of rubbing off on me. Um, so, 
you guys uh, got anything to do for fun? Well, camp ends in about two days, and until then, there's nothing really planned. Apparently, we have something happening tomorrow, but today we got the day free. Yeah, we can pretty much do whatever we want, as long as we stay inside the room, of course. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, well, listen, I'm sure we can think of something fun. We could even maybe sneak out into the hallway. I actually have been to this camp before. I'm not as old as Ollie. I'm actually only 18, so I recently graduated, but I remember coming here for summer camps. My parents would always ship me off to come stay here, so I know the layout of the place pretty well. Shut up. So you know where everything is? All the facilities? Yeah. The teachers actually have access to Wi-Fi out here, as well as snacks and all the necessities you'll need, but it's locked away in a storage room. I'm sure we could sneak in there and get it. Letting you stay was the smartest decision of our lives. We need to do an operation break-in right now. I don't know guys, it's pretty risky. Is it really worth it? I'm stuck between a smelly dachshund and a smarty pants bee. I need something to do besides talk to you two all day. So if I can get my phone and Wi-Fi back, I'll be set. We need to go ahead with this plan. So, let's get this show on the road. It's going to be campsite chaos, but it'll be worth it. And if we get caught, we go down together. Right? Heck yeah, I am so in. <sighs> Fine, I guess. I may have just met you guys, but I'm so glad I did. I'm in. Alrighty then. Let's get this show on the road. Um, hello, girls. Could you please let me in? The door seems to be a bit jammed. Uh, is that Mrs. Caesar? Oh my god, Harry, quick, you need to hide. What? Where? There's some blankets behind Kathleen. Just hide under them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, I'll help you. Here, don't worry, I got you. Uh, maybe. Yeah, don't worry, he looks good. I'll just stand in front of his tail, and she won't be any the wiser. Now, go get the door. We're all gonna die. I knew it. This was such a bad idea. Oh my dog, I should have just stayed here and eaten my nachos. Ugh. Pony, just shut up and smile. I'll do all the talking. We'll be fine. But I'm hyperventilating. Ugh. Sorry about that, Mrs. Caesar. Must have accidentally locked it. Ugh, it's quite alright, dear. Just don't make it happen again, okay? These doors are very heavy, and if it gets permanently locked, you're stuck in here. Anywho, we've had some reports that Olivia was spotted outside this area. So if any of you have seen her, now is the time to tell us. Because if we find out that you're harboring her in here, it's going to be a lot of trouble for all of you. Whereas if you do turn her in, only she'll get in trouble. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense, ma'am. But really, we haven't seen her. It's just us three in here. All right, girls, I'll believe you for now, but if I find out she's in here, big trouble, all right? She's disrespecting the school and the rules we've set, so we need to find her. Like I said, I'm going to go back to my office, and if you see her, come report her, and there'll be a big reward. I have a lot of work to get done, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Yikes. I think we're in the clear now. You can come out, Harry. Ugh. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but it smelled like butt sweat in here. How do you know what butt sweat smells? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so how are we going to do this operation? Well, it's pretty simple. It's down the hallway and to the left. The only problem is getting in without getting noticed. They don't keep it locked because nobody knows that the stuff's in there, so they don't need to protect it. At least, that's how it was when I went here. Pretty much what you'll need to do is two people sneak in, two people stay on watch. I'm thinking maybe me and Kathleen sneak in. It seems like the teachers kind of trust her more. Yeah, that's because she's like a model student who does what she's told. So of course the teachers are going to like her more than us. Yeah, and she also bathes. Ugh. Okay, but that sounds like a pretty decent plan, Harry. Me and Tony will stand guard here. And you and Kathleen can go sneak off and get our phones and stuff like that. Kathleen, you know what our stuff looks like, don't you? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm looking for. I'll try and grab anything extra and bring it back. Maybe it won't be too bad to stay in here if we have all that cool stuff. 
like I said, as long as I have my social media, Waguchi, uh, if I can text everyone in the year to come over here, we could throw a little party, and believe me, we'd be more than Gucci. We'd be Prada. Yeah, I don't understand this kind of language, but okay, let's just get moving out. Clearly, your teacher is going to be busy, so if we go now, we can make it. Try not to kill each other while I'm away. You two can get pretty rowdy. We won't be too long. Yes, Mom. But I have to ask, Tony, why does the blanket smell like apparent butt sweat? I may or may not have farted multiple times in that blanket, but that's my business, isn't it? None of yours. I am amazed you don't have like 20 infections at this point. You are a living disease. Yeah, but you love me. <laughs> True. You do make me laugh. Now, I'm going to go watch the door. You keep an eye on the outside window because if you see any teachers paroling outside, we need to be ready for them. Uh, this camp has turned into a whole mess, and I love it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. There's a door there that leads to the bathroom, but if we go straight and then turn left, we should hit the teacher's storage room where, if I remember correctly, that's where they store all the belongings. So, let's go quietly and quickly. <sighs> it feels nice to deal with somebody who has a brain. Those two drive me crazy. Hey, I can hear you. Bingo. Welcome to the teacher's storage room. It kind of looks identical to when I was here. Pretty crazy how they haven't changed. You know, I actually remember breaking in here when I was staying here. It's kind of crazy. Super easy to get in, but nobody checks. It's because they think it's a boring teacher's lounge. And while that's technically true, it's filled with all the confiscated goods. As you can see, pretty much everyone's belongings are here. Honestly, Harry, I'm kind of glad we were bored in our room. If we weren't, we wouldn't have run into you, and you are literally saving our tails. Well, mine's a stinger, but still. Thanks. Oh my dog! All three of our phones, plus Tony's laptop. There's even my backpack. I was wondering where that thing went. And a TV for some reason. Who brung that with? Seriously? Yeah, I can understand why they confiscated the TV. That's just weird. But if you look behind you, there's some snacks. So if we can grab your stuff, put it in your backpack, I'll take the snacks and we can head back. Hopefully we won't get caught and we can just chill there. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, Tony, it looks like they're coming back. Wait, really? Does it look like they have our stuff? Specifically my stuff, because I'm clearly the most important here. Oh my dog. Yeah, I guess. It looks like they're carrying a bag and some snacks. Oh my dog, snacks? Yes, please. We were desperately running out. <sighs> yeah, I wonder why. I'm looking at you, greedy guts. Hey, you ate the snacks too. Don't even lie to me. Did somebody, uh, say snacks? <laughs> Excuse the mess. Oh my dog, way to make a mess. But yeah, thanks, I guess. Boy, I don't even care if they're on the floor. I'm eating them. Yeah, gotta admit, it's a bit hard to carry a whole basket of snacks through a door, but here you go. <laughs> oh, and I think Kathleen has something to show you guys. I'll just, uh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, Lizard's feet are pretty clean. Uh, at least mine are, anyway. Huh? <laughs> We're back! Oh my dog, Kathleen, thank goodness. I'm guessing that's our phones in there, which I hope you didn't just smash. Hey, hey, they're fine, don't worry. I also managed to fit Tony's laptop in there, somehow. So we have enough electronics to go around. <gasps> You are amazing, Kathleen. Seriously, what would we do without you? You're the best. Yeah, I know. So maybe you should take it more easy on me. But that's another story for another time. So, should we start unpacking? Yeah, 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 sure. But before that, I just want to quickly say something. I know we've all been super bored the last couple days and we really wanted to connect to social media, get online, you know, do what we always do. 
but it's actually been really nice, especially today, just to have a bit of chaotic fun with you guys. Connecting online is amazing, don't get me wrong, tons of entertainment, tons of friendly people, but it's nice to just appreciate the ones you have around you. Kathleen, you know we bully you, but it's more banter than bullying because you always get us back. And you're super smart, so you always outwit us. Tony, we're always making fun of your stench, but in reality, you're super funny and you usually don't smell too bad. And Harry, we just met, but I can already tell you're going to fit in with us. Even if you don't go to our school, we'd still be happy to have you around, as long as you don't get caught. Hey, that was actually pretty well said, Ruby. And I gotta agree, I've been so, so social media deprived, it's been driving me crazy. But just messing around with you guys today has been pretty great, so thanks for that. And don't worry, I'm actually gonna go have a shower right now. BRB! Yeah, well, if you weren't bored, I never would've found you guys. And like I said before, I was third wheeling Ollie and Olivia. It was kind of awkward, so this has been a great escape for me. Yeah, it's definitely good to appreciate the ones around you have right in front of you, rather than spending your time always behind a screen. But with that being said, how about we combine both of them? You know, make the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, what did you have in mind? Well, I have the Wi-Fi password, so how about instead of everyone sitting in front of their phones like a bunch of zombies, let's turn on Netflix, eat some snacks, and just all chill out together. That way we can appreciate the online world and the world right in front of us. That actually sounds perfect. How about me and Harry clean up these snacks and go get them ready before they get gross on the floor? You set up the Netflix and Tony will go have her shower. Let's have a great night. Okay, let's make the most of it. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> awesome.